Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to be joined here in the parade ring now by the one and only Frankie Dettori. Frankie, you're very welcome along. A, a nice surprise for race goers here tonight. They weren't expecting you to arrive in Leprechaun this evening. Well, Jessica twisted my arm to come and ride one of his horses after racing, so that's why I'm here. And um, I saw Old Stratton entered, and Lorraine Willey said, because I, I used to ride him at John Gosden, so I said, uh, if you want me to ride him, I'm, I'm here anyway. And uh, yeah, it was nice to ride the old boy. He was in 100% uh, uh, top shape today, but uh, he's got a, I guess, his favorite race is the race at Ascot. So all, all roads lead to Royal Ascot. Okay, so if you've had some great days for Willie Mullins as well, uh, with your association down through the years. Yeah, absolutely. We came close in the Melbourne Cup uh, and with Max Dynamite. Yeah, I've had a few winners for him, so, you know, he's a legend of a trainer, so it's always a pleasure riding for him. And your farewell tour this year, it couldn't be actually going any better. Final Guineas winner, Sheldon, is that how you pronounce it? No idea, but... Uh, we got that, really. <laughs> yeah, it was a good, good start, won a classic, we had a good York, a couple of group races, and, you know, now the big races are coming thick and fast, so really looking forward to... Obviously, my ne next weekend is the Irish Guineas, and uh, hopefully I come back here for one last time for the 9th of September, the Irish Champions weekend. Yes, and what a record you've had. You need one more to equal Mick Canan's record of six. You're on five to, for Irish Champions Stakes winners. Yeah, absolutely. Mick is one of my heroes, and uh, you know, it'd be a great honour if I could equal his record. You know, six, what a record it is. But, uh, it is an amazing weekend, some great races, obviously the Matriarch. And uh, yeah, looking forward to, to roll the dice one more time. Swain was your first winner, to rewind the clock a good few years, but then quickly, the following year, you followed up at Dale Army. Yes, yeah, Swain, I uh, don't really remember much of it, uh, the race, but Dale Army won by nine lengths. Uh, then, uh, obviously, Ferry, Fantastic light in Galileo. That's definitely yeah. one of the races that will stick in everybody's memory. Such a finish between two brilliant horses, two brilliant jockeys. What was it, a short heading at the end? Well, you know, it's amazing. It's the first time in my career that both horses got uploaded uh, because I don't think the pair of them didn't want to lose. It's a shame that it had to be a result. But uh, in my 35 years, it's probably the most intense finish I ever had, especially with a world class jockey like Mick. Snow Fairy, she was brilliant. Snow Fairy, yes, great race with uh, Nathaniel and uh, was it Sir Nicholas Abbey, I think? And then obviously the great Golden Horn that uh, he went on to win an arc. So uh, he's, he's, he, the Irish champions has established itself as a, a, a massive, important race pre arc de Triomphe, and uh, it won't be any different this year. I'm sure you'll see a a superstar in the making. And it's a brilliant two days now. It's getting bigger and better. The Irish Champions Festival over the two days. So many Group 1 races, massive prize money, and there's such a big English contingent and French contingent to come over for the weekend as well. It just epitomises what Irish racing is and a big festival to celebrate it. Yeah, absolutely. And like I said, it fits in perfectly as a prep race for the ARC. And, uh, you know, as a more, I remember him winning and you know, some great champions won it, and uh, it'd be no different this year. And uh, you know, he has, uh, like I said, in, in the Europe calendar, has established one of the best weekends that, that we have. And what else are you looking forward to for the rest of the season, Frankie? You, you're really enjoying it. I know it's probably a, you're a little bit emotional as well. You obviously do get quite emotional, but your last year riding as well, is it emotional for you? Well, I'm enjoying it. I will get emotional towards the end, but I promise that I'll do Listo this year and. Bellistown uh, with, for Barney's charity. Kilani's approached me, so hopefully we'll get back to the Cara. So it'll be a few Irish visits this summer. I'm looking forward to it. Everybody's always kind and, uh, and uh, very warm to me, so I really enjoy it. Great stuff. And final, before we let you go, Soul Sister, there's plenty of people here who were very, very impressed with her win the Musidora the other day. Yeah, I was. You know, uh, obviously, I was, I was also impressed with the filly of O'Brien's who won at Chester by 22 lengths, so it will be another tremendous race, and uh, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see. Obviously, a rest could, could, be, could be a positive for the Derby, 
yeah, so much to come in and on in the next five weeks that uh, I can't keep up with it. He looked good the other day, Rest. Yeah, he did, yes. I mean, on that ground, it's very hard to judge him, but he's done nothing wrong. Great stuff. Frankie, as always, thank you for your time. Great to see you here in Leperstown. We look forward to seeing you back in Ireland in a couple of more meetings on your farewell tour. Ladies and gentlemen, Frankie Dettori.